Welcome to learn mechanical engineering friends. In this tutorial we are going to learn about different classification of turbo machines on the basis of direction of flowing fluid. Turbo machines are classified based on direction which are classified as axial flow turbo machine, radial flow turbo machine and mixed type turbo machine. In axial type of turbo machine the fluid inlet is axial and exit is axial. In the radial type of turbo machine the fluid entering is in radial direction and exit is in radial direction. Mixed type of in mixed type of turbo machine the fluid entering may be axial and exit may be radial or the fluid entering may be radial exit may be axial. In this section we are going to learn about dimensional analysis. To study the performance characters of turbo machines a large number of variables are involved. Hence Calculations in turbo machines become tedious. Hence, dimensional analysis is used to reduce the variables into a manageable dimensional groups. In every turbo machine, the interest of parameters are power output, the efficiency, and the head. Before going to study about dimensional analysis, let us know about something about fundamental quantities and secondary quantities. Fundamental quantities are mass, length, and time. Secondary quantities are those which are derived from the fundamental quantities, example area, surface area, volume, etc. Dimensional homogeneity. Dimensional homogeneity states that in an equation, the right hand side and left hand side of the equation dimension should be equal. Methods of dimensional analysis. There are two methods of dimensional analysis. One is Rayleigh's method, other one is Buckingham Pythagoras. Release method is used when number of variables involved are 3. This is not used today because it is not applicable when there are large number of variables are involved. Hence Buckingham Pi theorem is used. Buckingham Pi theorem. Buckingham Pi theorem states that if there are n variables in a dimensionally homogeneous equation and if these variables contain m fundamental dimensions such as mass, length and time, then they may be grouped into n minus m non-dimensional pi terms. The equation should be homogeneous equation. Please remember this. Let us illustrate Buckingham pi theorem. Let x1, x2, s3, so on, xn are the variables involved in a physical phenomena. And x1 be, x1 be the variable depends upon independent variables x2, x3, xn. Then the equation may be written as x1 is a function of x2, x3, so on up to xn. In general form, f of x1, x2, x3, so on xn is equal to constant, where c is constant. According to Buckingham Pi theorem, if there are n variables x1, x2, x3, xn, and m fundamental dimensions mass length and time then according to by buckingham pi theorem f1 of pi1 pi2 pi3 so on up to pi n minus m is equal to n minus m constant thank you friends if you like this video please subscribe and share and please hit the like button thank you